Well, Mother's Day is almost here, and what better way to make her smile than with a homemade treat? I cannot wait for this. Emily Swedberg from Lucid Bakery is going to show us how to make some strawberry coconut shortcake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And what I was going to say right before it is it seems like you look at this and you're like, I can handle it, but it's just a matter of actually taking the time to do it for mom. Oh, yeah. That's what's important about Mother's Day is showing that you actually care and spending that time and making something homemade and from scratch is the best way you can show that you love your mom. And you're gonna be your fa or her favorite child after you make this for her. Hashtag I'm the favorite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. And can I share with you two something really exciting? Yes. Um, so basically last night we announced the date and time for Fargo's third annual Veg Fest. Ooh, nice. Yes. Yeah. So for the, or for those that don't know what Veg Fest is, it's an awesome. Basically, we call it a food party um, for the FM area where we celebrate a healthy plant-based lifestyle. Um, and we'll have speakers and food demonstrations and just a lot of food, free samples. So it's a free event. Yeah. Um, and anyone that's just passionate about food and learning how to make healthier food or just how to make it is yeah. just welcome to come. And you don't have nice. to be a vegetarian to come to no, it No, definitely not. There's but all good You're going to get good information from it. Yes. And good and good taste testing. And good food. She is yes. a key <laughs> word for me, taste testing and food yes, to taste eat. Taste testing is a huge thing. Okay, so let's make this. All right, so we're making the strawberry coconut shortcake. Um, so since you said you don't aren't comfortable with baking, I'm going to have you start off. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have our flowers. Here's our mixing bowl. So basically we add all our dries together. That's kind of the key to baking. And I can just start dumping these in? Mm-hmm, exactly. So we have baking powder, flour, sugar, what salt. What was that? Oh, that was... That's baking soda. So the baking oh. powder and baking soda work together to make your cake rise and have that fluffy, airy texture. Yep, and then you whisk it together. It's almost like sifting it, so it'll become nice. fluffier. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have you, Christy, mix yeah. the sugar and strawberries together, and that's gonna be Just our top here. Yep, exactly, I'll okay. give you the spoon here. And then we're gonna have a sweet strawberry mixture. And it's best to let that kind of marinate for a bit, but I, we're in a hurry right now, so. But I love that's what you can do with strawberries is you throw the sugar on and they do their own work. They do, yeah, they do all the all the work. So I got the easy that, job: sugar, the strawberries. Are you about to stir. throw that cream in there too? <laughs> yep, exactly. So I'll have you, wow. Chris, mix this cream in there. So in instead here of or in there, in there, in the oh, dry. Okay. So this is actually just canned coconut milk and it's full of flavor. Mm. Um, can I do it all at once? You, you can do, do it all at once. I'm gonna give you the spatula. And the key to mis mixing biscuits and other kind of things like that is just you Thank don't overmix it. So, so just kind of so fold fluff it. This yeah, in. fold it together until you don't see any flour, and then we're going to be ready to put it in the pan. And it's that easy. Is that nice. this? This, the, <laughs> this is the pan. Yep, exactly. So you just need a baking pan, preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then once this is ready, then we're ready to put it in the oven. I think what people appreciate out there is. That the kids can handle this, but even the dads can handle yes. this too to help <laughs> yeah. along. Everyone who's just and supervise. Yes, whoever's intimidated by baking, this is probably the easiest thing to make. Amen. That's also really impressive too. All right, that's looking good. We okay, don't want to overstir it, so pour it in. I can hand. I'll hold the bowl Thank for you. you very I know. Much. I'm sorry. I'm giving you all the work. No, that's no, a really thick just, batter. You're actually doing a yeah. really good job. So thank you. Yeah. Props to you. Do I just kind of let that yeah, just show kinda, out? Yeah, just kind of flatten it a little bit so that we're going to have a nice kind of large biscuit almost. I was going to say it's really thick. It's really almost thick. Almost like a dough, but not. Yes. So shortcake is actually kind of like a sweet biscuit. It's not actually too sweet, and that's what's nice about this cake is that you can have it with a cup of tea or coffee, and it's going to be great. So it basically looks like this. It's actually really solid. You put it in the oven, and about 18, 20 minutes, it's going to come out nice and golden brown and like this fluffy biscuit that is I that have here. Right there? Yeah, Ooh. so these are the finished product, and now we get to do the fun part, which anyone can do. And that's the just decorating? Top. Yes, the decorating. Thank so you. So this is what you made just from that mixture. Mm -hmm. And so it looks just professional. <laughs> yeah, and then you just cut it in half, and then you have these two biscuits that you get to put all your fancy toppings in. All right, so we'll put a layer of strawberries on first. So open your biscuit. Oh, so like sandwich Ooh. style. Yeah, it's going to be like a sandwich. Oh. I know, it's going to look really fancy. Can I just have a little bite of this? because it. Oh, yeah, please do. Really Without. Good. It's really moist. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet, but when we add those sweetened strawberries mm. with this awesome coconut whip that I'll talk about, 
It's gonna be perfect. <gasps> mm. Yours is looking great. Okay. Try a bite of that one. <laughs> Try a, bi a bite. <laughs> All right, now your turn. I was, I was told to, so. <laughs> and now, okay, so. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. See, I would just make that and eat it straight too. out of the pan. Yeah, exactly. So the thing is, people think that vegan baking can be really disgusting, and but for those that don't know, <laughs> it's just no eggs, no butter, but we have awesome. That's vegan. Yes. Holy buckets. Yes, so it's all plant-based. Oh my and gosh. Then, all right, we're not done yet. Stop we're... eating, Christy. Yeah, don't eat at all. All right, so we have some coconut whip. Put a dollop on top. What does that coconut mean? You whip, just added yeah. coconut to Cool Whip or? Actually, there's no dairy in it at all. It's just coconut milk basically whipped up to make this like basically whipped topping. And I put it on top of my apple Thank strawberry you. crisp for Easter. And all of my family was asking about it because it's so, so nice. Amazing. So it's coconut cream, and then you just put it with a mixer and just whip. yeah. You can actually make your your own uh, dairy free whipped cream at home. Okay. With the canned coconut, when you chill it, there's that really thick part. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Let's let's see how much. I know. I'm you sorry. guys are getting impatient. <laughs> oh, I'm so impatient. When it's a good thing she's okay to be like stop <laughs> eating, Christy. <laughs> he ate it. He ate it. <laughs> Mm. The life of the baker. Everyone's just eating in front of you. <laughs> okay, sorry. So what, right. comes, what comes next? Oh, okay. We're not done baking yet, Chris. Put the fist bumps away. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you didn't listen. Didn't <laughs> All right, so now you sandwich it. Put the put the little thing on top. Oh, you need to sandwich it? Yeah, you got to sandwich it. It's oh, all about presentation. My bad. That's a huge thing about cooking. All right, and now we add another dollop and then top it with a strawberry. It's oh. going to look perfect. It's, you're gonna want to take Instagram whoa, photos. Whoa. I know you gotta be careful. You almost need like a wow. toothpick to settle Mine it. Mine was slipping down. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. So as I was saying, you can make your own Crit. coconut whip. <laughs> oh, are you you're still eating? Are you? <laughs> there you Thank go. You. Um, I had two fall out, so I'm just gonna use those <laughs> as my. Oop. That's they're slippery that. little buggers over I didn't here. See that. Now right. we can put some more strawberries. Yeah, on top. put a strawberry on top, and then you're gonna be good. And you can yeah, get the baby. stuff at Cash Wise now or other natural places. let me clean my places. plate like they do on the cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> just wipe my crumbs yeah, off to the side. Love that. Your fingers. All right, and then and now you got it. a beautiful shortcake that you can bring to your mom, and she's going to be so impressed. That shortcake uh -huh. bread is off the hook. But you know how easy it was, right? And we didn't yeah. use any dairy, any eggs, and so you can learn things like this at Veg Fest and other awesome recipes. How long did this bake again for? 20 minutes, about. At 400. So you can get up just 30 minutes before mom mm -hmm. and make her a shortbread, strawberry mm. shortbread yeah. breakfast feast. Yes. Did and you make that last night? I did. Man, it is so moist. Still moist. It's like phenomenal. Yep. Can we eat now? I want oh, to see you pick, <laughs> I want see you pick it up as a sandwich, Chris. No, I, I can't do that one. <laughs> the challenge. This the shortcake so challenge. so good. And awesome. let's remind people how they can get in touch with you, too. Well, I have a website for my personal bakery, which is mm. lucidbakery.com. But if you're mm. interested in learning more about the awesome food party that we're having in October, which is actually, did I even announce it? It was October, October 14th. 14th. It okay. was up, yep, Yom up Center. Center. Sorry. Wow. Blanking that. So it's going to be an awesome location um, late in October, middle October. And we're going to have all sorts of food and national speakers, nice. fun, activity, fun activities for the kids. Gonna be awesome and food and more which food which we mentioned many times and but more food the most important thing it's a free event is that your first bite no this is my third oh, bite i've just say. been as she said it's instagram worthy so Larson. i was trying to save at least one <laughs> yeah, yeah, save a picture of it but all right stick around we're gonna make some slime and fire right after this